two days left, 2018. Hadn't done much early on in the year. <laughs> Big mix up with waiting on licenses to be changed over and eventually got a license on this little Hega back in February. So it was two months out. Didn't do what I'd normally do in the year, but this guy here for the year is 149 to this gun anyway. We have tonight and tomorrow night to find number 150 just, just to keep the books balanced nice and evenly. No pressure of the camera, no? Pressure for tyres. <laughs> you might regret that. <laughs> Conditions are good for calling and it's not long before I spot a fox's eyes in the camera's IR. Unfortunately it's downwind and it heads into the next field. So we head around the wind, come into that field to see if we can catch up with him. That come in like a steam train. Spotted it first. We, were just, we, just, we just parked the jeep and then. Um, Made a bit of a racket getting in across it, so I was expecting nothing in the first field, so just flicked the light. I'm seeing a fox down the back field, probably 250 yards down. Just give a few little squeals. No, nothing. Jason picked up a, a flick of the eye in the IR, and um, I was just looking and said, Where? Well, ah, it's gone. I was about to move out, and the bloody thing appeared 100 yards or less on the brow, and was coming around trying to get our wind. Unfortunately, it didn't make it. And there is number 150 for 2018. I think I'll take the rest of the year off. <laughs> well, I'll finish this farm first. <laughs> As you can see, they're with the uh, Blitz King bullets, they're just hitting, and that's it. Here's a guy, what, 100, 110, 20 yards possibly, right on the shoulder. Not a mark on him. Do you get away with using those bullets for your deer stalking as well? Yeah. Some guys wouldn't like it, but head and neck shooting, yeah, I wouldn't be so keen on, on chest shots. Just if you caught something a big bone, the, you catch a good fume or just fume a bone just right underneath the shoulder there. I'd imagine it wouldn't, it, it, it struggled to get inside the chest cavity, but head and neck shots, which are trying to keep your range short, it, it, it's not going to, every bit of energy that's in it, it's going to leave inside the carcass. It's, it's going to be a clean kill. But for what they're designed for and marketed for for varmint, they're ideal. There's like there's a fox. Every ounce of energy that was in that bullet is left inside him. I can't. You can't even find an exit on him. This year, unfortunately, you lost your uncle. I know last year, and he was your sort of lamping buddy. But you've done all this year on your own. Yeah. How, how have you had to adjust the way you lamp or or your kit to to suit that situation? First of all. It's it's much easier going with two guys, especially two to spend so much time together. He knew what I was thinking, like, this had been just, right, you're already up, bang, done, dusted. Um, first thing I did, I went about trying to um, scope mount a torch. Tried a couple of makes, settled on these sniper hog lights. Unbelievable. The red pill in it, 200 yards, normal conditions. It, it's absolutely no problem, 100% ID. Good clear conditions, the likes of stubbles and that. I know I have stretched it a fair bit further. It's they're a cracking light. I liked it so much, <laughs> I went and I got a second as a spotter. And the ability to move from flood to spot, like you just stand in by yourself, as you can see, set the rifle up on the sticks. Just hold her there. I can call, single handed, and I can use my torch come from spot when I see something and just when I'm scanning I walk at the flood and when she's on flood it, I just sweep it across the ground and the fact it's just so small and so handy I just drop it it's hanging on the sticks up blood bang it's it's as good a way as I won't say it's as good as two men working together but it's as good a way as I have found so far to continue to lamp without going into the thermal and night vision route this is suiting for me as I say 150 foxes there so far this year with a couple of months lost and um, it's obviously working fairly well for me anyway.
20 or 30 yards. Happy with this shot? Happy! We were coming back along the lane, wind is in our back. There's a log gap just over here behind us. I'd say they just stick my head in across just in case there was something. And tight down parallel to the hedge from us was my man here. Yeah, we got in, got set on the sticks, was going to take the shot. Made a bit of a racket so I could only use a single stick and uh, he took the run. I tried giving him a bark, mm -mm, wasn't on for stopping. And just led out past his nose and fired. I said, it's good safe backstop, you can see yourself rolling hills, hollows, we know the land as well as any on the man that owns it. And uh, yeah, strike sounded good, but the fox disappeared both in screen and on camera. I said, right, we we have to head home that way, we'll go take a look. And here's the result, and I'm guessing it's another dog fox just by the size of the beggar running across the field. And yep, yeah, another dog. I think you need more than Panadol to cure it as well. But there, now, final night for 2018. <laughs> we, we were finished half an hour ago on, on, on the last fox, but uh, yeah, we, we will tighten up at that. Our Jeep is just parked down the bottom of the field here. We'll pack up and head on at that. 151 though. 151, it? yeah, well, it's I, not really I don't, balanced. it's not balanced. Do, do we go tomorrow night? It's gonna to be a lot of work to get the nine just to even it up to the next <laughs> zero, isn't it? Stranger things have happened.